What's happening, beautiful world? It's Thursday, 4-4-24, but I'm, I'm out running errands. But uh, we're gonna go out and try to find some other people. Uh, we're gonna get to it, man. We gotta get to work. Got some people to feed. So hang out. I'm just gonna turn around at the O'Reilly's Auto Parts and wait for him to get there. He's pulling kind of like a milk crate on wheels. He looks pretty wore down. I got something for him, if he's interested. I'm not gonna force a pond. Uh-oh, this lady came out of nowhere. All right. All right, so we're gonna hang tight. I met a guy here before, John. He didn't have a shirt. It was during the summertime. Wow, that was an ordeal. I gotta assess to see how far away he is. Hey, sir. Sir. Could I interest you in a water? Nah, I'm good. I got this Pepsi right here. I, uh, let me give you a card. I drive around and I help people out a little bit. I got some food and supplies. I got some lunches pre-made, man. Fresh. Uh, Are you hungry? Well, I'm not hungry right now. I just left from home up here. Uh, going up here to laundry to wash my clothes. Okay. I mean, so you have a place? Yeah, I have. Okay. Place well, I seen you. You're carrying, obviously, your laundry. Yeah. All right. Well, I was just going to check on you. See if I you need anything. It. You sure you don't want a water? Nah, I'm good. All I'm, right. I'm not no big water fan, unfortunately. Okay. It'd be better for me. Don't I'll tell you what. Yeah, I know. I need to drink more myself. But, uh, well, okay. Well, then I bid you a great day. You know. Uh, I have a health issue. Yeah. I've had two strokes, two heart attacks. Uh, Getting out walking good for me. Well, I was just going to say, you know, you're going uphill there and you're pulling a, you know, a small buggy and. It's got to be a little wear and tear on you. Yeah, a little yeah. bit, but could be worse. Can I ask your name? Bill. Bill? Yeah. Sorry. I'm Daryl. Nice to meet you. I, I seen you had your buggy in the right hand, so. Yeah. But, uh, you know, they need more people like you out willing to help. Well, you. I'm just trying to help a little bit at a time, you know. That's all we can do. In my bad time. Yeah, in my spare time, I just kind of get out and. You know, I prepare some lunches. You know, people on my on my YouTube channel, they they send me some items every now and then, and I get supplies. I got socks and you know, just general hygiene items. Yeah. You know, just to help out. You know, some of these people are in pretty rough shape. I know. I and don't uh, get me wrong. I've been there. Well, you've not, probably not seen hundreds. I've, I've lived at the shelter before here in Providence. Oh yeah. Yeah. No. Uh. I heard they were building a new one. Uh, I think it's a lady shelter. A woman's? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's right next door to a thrift store, what they're doing. I know that they've got a, uh, they sponsor of other, are you talking about the one that's attached to Providence? Because they're they're finishing up the construction on a, on a, a building that's like an extension. That, 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 I, I believe that is gonna be one of the women's shelters. Okay. And then they've got another one. Some more, uh, I want to say up the valley, up the, that way towards Cleveland. Yeah, somebody said that they, they've got a, a few. I had recently met a gentleman who, uh, he was kicked out of one of them because he had tested positive for marijuana. Yeah. And they asked him to leave. You know. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, they got a whole lot worse things out here than marijuana. Oh yeah, no, I got you there, you know. But uh, you know, technically, a drug to drug. Yeah, but well, it is a self-containing. It's plant. so close to being legalized here. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's not. No. You know, so that's the problem. And, you know, depending on which state you want to go to. Yeah. Everybody moving to Colorado or something. <laughs> I know. Either that or so I think California's halfway good. There's uh I think thirty one states. Thirty one. I think I think that's the number. I I, I have to double check that. You know, yeah. don't don't take that as the I, final I mean I I, I think that's I somewhere in there. I don't smoke so I, yeah. smoke I haven't smoked a pack of cigarettes since high school. Wow. Well, you're looking pretty good shape. You getting around? A little bit on the fat side. I put on weight more in the last uh, 
two weeks ain't liking it. Too much of that southern hospitality. Get that biscuits and gravy uh, and the grits. I, I eat a lot of ham. I cook my own food. Yeah. I eat a lot of hamburgers. That just make whatever is easy and convenient for me. You sound like my mom. She's a carnivore. She's a red meat junkie. Yeah. I'm trying to get her off here. She's oh my cholesterol's fine. I go well I don't think so. But anyway. Well you have a good day. I'm yeah you too man. Hungry. Yeah I hear that. What's your name? Daryl. Daryl. Yep. I used to have a brand law named Daryl. Yeah. Yep. There's only a few of us left. <laughs> I'll it, see you later, it's Bill. not a popular name. So take it easy, Bill. Right. Nice to meet you. What a cool guy. I could talk to him for hours. <sighs> How sweet. He looked like he was struggling. He was walking up a hill pulling that buggy. So I thought he might have a rough time. But hey. All is well. All right, I'm going to the Salvation Army. I'm gonna check there real quick because I'm supposed to meet Charlie at two o'clock and I'm gonna get her a new uh, shirt. Uh, something that's in better shape. I'm gonna get her a pink one because that seems to be her, her color. So, all right, gonna tune out. We'll tune back in with Charlie here shortly. This is just sad, guys. I'm at the Salvation Army, and look at this, look at this lady. She's buying like 40 pairs of shoes. So is this lady. Must be family. Good morning. Hi. Good. Well, how much are the women's shirts? Two ninety nine each. Okay. <coughs> there was two women there, and they must have had forty plus pairs of shoes. And you wonder why. You know, obviously Salvation Army. You know, they want. They, they don't really care. You know, I mean, not in a bad way. They, but they're in business. You know, they're they want to make money. They don't really care if one person buys one pair and or one person buys 40. But at the same time, you know, those two people single-handedly cleaned out the, the shoe rack. Didn't care about size and you know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, just load them in the buggy. Lady had a full, full shopping cart full of shoes. Spanish lady. I'm like, man, come on, give the people that really need it. You know. Whatever, it's I could I could complain to him blue in the face. It ain't gonna help. Just saying, you know, just like the other day in that video that I put up at the uh, about the mad rush over at the uh, at the food bank. You know, boy, they were almost coming to fisticuffs. If you haven't seen that video, go back a few weeks. The title of it's Mad Rush at the Food Bank pretty amazing. All right. I had to meet Charlie.